This is a Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force Special Aircraft Flying Voyage Food Packet. Now weighing in at 1 pound 7 ounces and containing approximately 1100 calories, this ration was designed for pilots on long flight missions. Comes in three separate menus. Just a simple, smooth outer cardboard box. And on the back here, it actually has English. For any potential joint exercises, English is a very common second language. So it says, this product is supplied for the pilots during long haul flight to meet their nutrition and energy requirements. Each meal contains energy of 1,000 to 1,100 calories with rich variety of foods in addition to newly developed anti-fatigue protein bar and chocolate wafer have been equipped in the meal. The ration is mainly supplied for early warning aircraft, electronic reconnaissance, electronic jamming aircraft, transport, and so on. It was produced November 8th, 2014, and it has a two-year shelf life. So here are the heating instructions. You set them in a tray where you put the water in, you put it into the oven, it heats up your main course, and then you serve it, which here it shows. The retort pouch is filled with a yellow goop. In-flight food packets from the 1950s had small conventional ovens where you could submerge cans into hot water. This is very similar. Pretty much the same exact thing, except instead of cans, it's retort pouches. This ration fits into the PLA's long voyage food classification, which means it's for flying missions over three hours long, and it's convenient to prepare and eat. So let's check it out. So here's your main course. It's a 250 gram retort pouch of white rice and red bean. Feels a little dry at the bottom. Definitely gonna let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes in boiling water, setting that retort. And a little 40 gram pack of chocolate wafers. This is an eight gram pack of some kind of instant soup. The rough translations coming out with, it said something like lavender egg or something. I know that's not right. So then a 15 gram pack of uh, spicy sauce. And this is a 100 gram retort of white tuna. It was produced November 8th, 2014. And again, this thing has a two year shelf life. So it expired in 2016. We'll see how well this thing held up. It might not be looking so great. So this is a 50 gram protein bar. It feels pretty dense. Very interesting, similar looking bars to say food packets, survival, general purpose, or those vintage MRE oatmeal cookie bars. Here's a, a little spork, guessing a toothpick and then also a really tiny napkin. Now this is another interesting translation. It just says spicy snow dish. I don't think that's correct. It feels like some kind of, I'm thinking it's some kind of pickled vegetable, but I'm not sure, we'll find out. This is pickled kelp, 50 grams. It's a good portion. This thing even comes with its own tray. Really kind of has it all here. The other tray is not big enough. So there you go. All right. So let's get this out on your tray. Nice, in case. Let's first start off with that wire kelp is what it roughly translates to. The main course, this thing's piping hot. Check that out in a minute. Go for a couple of these cold items and you don't heat a pickled vegetable like this. This should be just a room temp, most likely. Oh wow, look at that. That is kelp. Wow, that's a little bit exotic. Go ahead and check out the white tuna. Nice 100 gram pack of pure protein. Give that tuna a good slap. There we go, whoa. Ooh, 
That's some kind of dry. You know, the tuna. Ooh, it has a nice sour smell. It says it's white tuna. It doesn't look very white. And then the chocolate wafer. Ooh, look at those. You know, these really have the classic military rations, glisteny, chocolate, shiny look to them. Hold on, we gotta definitely give these a look. This is probably the more exciting part of this thing so far. Just some bloom, you know, fat separation. It gives that white appearance, but it's not too bad. Look at that chocolate ration wafers that are shiny. Go for this protein bar next, which actually is 10 grams more dense than these two wafers. Look at this thing. Now here's the soup. Hmm, smells like some kind of seaweed. Look at this. Is this even soup? I can safely assume it probably is. Yep, that's a soup. Look at this little spork. Let's see how strong it is. Hey, not bad. You could really launch some peas with that thing. And then here's a, a toothpick, which you're probably gonna need it after eating these greens. Look at that soup. Nice. That's some sort of chicken seaweed soup, is what it looks like. Chicken, green onion, seaweed. Hmm. So let's see what this is. Had a little bit of a rough time with the translation, so it's a little bit of a surprise. But I think it's a pickled vegetable. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks like, oh wow, that's a spicy green. Look at that. A lot of stock, maybe like, 50-50 ratio of actual leaf to, to stem or stalk, whatever that is. And I believe that's maybe collard greens, but that is fascinating. Look at that. You get your greens, you get your protein and some chocolate and protein bars and, and soup. Let's check out this red bean and rice. That feels still very hot to touch. Looking pretty good. Smells all right too, it smells fresh. Look at that. I'm gonna hold off on putting that spicy sauce on right away, but there it is. I'm gonna check out this main course first. This rice looks a little dry. Mmm, and it is, extremely. It's about a year and a half past the expiration date and Based off the texture and how it's dry, it tastes it too. Okay, the red bean adds that sweetness, slight granular. Like, I'm just going to eat the red bean center and put the sauce on the white rice part. Hmm, the red bean isn't too dry and that's that part's almost like dessert. It really is, that's delicious. Before I go much further here, go ahead and check it out with this sauce here, which, oh yeah. Put the entire thing on this side. It's a spicy oil sauce. Maybe a little soy. That's fantastic. Just that little bit I tasted that's very spicy. That'll do the trick. A perfect savory and salty, but extremely intense spicy flavor. Actually, this is the spiciest sauce I have ever had in a ration. Mm. Now it's very good. The rice on its own, dry and bland. Throw some of the spicy sauce on it. I mean, 
Jeez, actually, you know what? If I saved some more of that red bean, there we go. Mmm, that was perfect. You get a real trifecta of spicy, savory, and sweet with that red bean. Put that sauce on there. This just totally transformed that dry rice into way more. That was most unexpected. Let's check out this, some sort of collard or mustard green. Hmm, crunchy, nice spicy vinegar flavor. Although strong of chlorophyll and what seems to be almost like a, a potentially like a preservative, or it actually, with the salty and savory aspect, and probably a fair amount of vitamin A, a very invigorating pickled snack, essentially. Probably gonna hold off on any more of it though. It's very fibrous, intensely fibrous. If you don't chew it, you're gonna have problems. So then this stuff, the wire kelp. Definitely not my thing, 100%. Literally tastes like a strange, unappealing, seafood kind of chlorophyll yeah this is this is really rough it tastes like salt water and like grass this is an acquired taste it's something that's confusing my palate so then the tuna it's really dry not even sure what take a small bite sorry some fell on my hand oh it seems fine but it's not very appetizing it's just like a very low grade kind of Oh, oh, that's stinky tasting. This is just a funky aftertaste. No, that's not very good, actually. Um, I'm gonna wash it down with some goop soup. Couldn't really put my finger on what kind of title of soup here. You know, that's not the most appealing appearance right there. But, oh wow, this stuff right here, oh, it just fell right back in the cup. Oh, there's just a seaweed in that that doesn't even want to go down. It just keeps getting caught in my throat. My apologies. That is not, also, my palate is not adjusted. So let's check out the protein bar. Nice and dense. Hmm. Oh, wow. It's chalky. I think if it were a little fresher, you would have a slightly more malleable center but there's a light malt flavor a little bit bitter mm. a light waxy milk chocolate surface that melts easily it's actually pretty good it's not great but it could grow on you and it's nourishing it's something you need to eat and that's probably a lot more plausible to eat than most of this other stuff if you're flying it's same with this thing here which i can't separate i'm just going to eat it like a big old cookie Hmm. Oh yeah, this is the best thing in the ration. Right here, right off the bat, the most normal, inviting, and fresh tasting thing in the ration. I mean, I really enjoyed this, but the rice is dry and problematic. The red bean and spicy sauce is just rescuing the whole scenario. This, this right here, is incredible. Tastes like a true ration snack. The epitome, a waxy chocolate that's like oddly appealing. Definitely the best thing in this ration. Oh wow. It literally smells like I'm on a dock and I'm like near a, a, a whole clump of seaweed that's floating around in front of me. This rice, super dry, probably a little bit expired. gets absolutely saved by the red bean and introduction of that spicy sauce. Without it, it's in trouble. So then this green, so overly fibrous, but tastes great. At least you know you're getting your fiber. This right here, Smells like something you'd pull out of a, a fish tank. It has a, an oddly refreshing flavor. 
this right here def definitely can finish this up. Check out MRE Zone. He gave me this ration. Definitely check out his shop. He's got free shipping in the U.S. He has a lot of interesting rations. This protein bar. Hmm. Oh, geez. I'm back over here. I forgot about this soup. Um, the soup is the, the worst thing. Well, actually, no. The tuna is the worst thing. Then the soup. Then this stuff. Really, this was a this was a very strange ration, but I would say very rich in vitamin A and other nutrients. China has a lot of different interesting military nutrition. They have a lot of different kinds of rations designed for all sorts of different climates and altitudes and whatnot. So this was a Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force special aircraft flying voyage food packet. Pretty serious. All I gotta say is, it was an experience. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.